Welcome from Dave M0 OGY. Hope you're all doing well and my latest video review of the upcoming President Jerry. So as you can see there's two radios there but the one on the left is my original President Randy 3 which is uh, a radio that's been out a while but it's you know quite uh, an expensive transceiver compared to some of the competition. So looking at the Jerry on your right, it is a slimmed down version of the previous Randy 3 with a few less features. If you don't need these features, this could be the one. Now looking at the Randy 3, it's got lots of extra features and um, it has a premium price in the UK, it's around £200 currently. And looking on your left of the video, there is a few accessories that I've got for the uh, Randy 3, like the leather case is an aftermarket item, there's a stand-in charger, uh, there's a couple of microphones available for this, and um, these accessories will work, uh, looking at the Jerry uh, with that as well, which is a good thing. So the Jerry, I think it's possibly aimed at the market... Um, for the current radios which I, I do possess like the Thunderpole TX um, and the Geopix which is a, a same you know sort of radio there's an handful that came out a year ago and I think whilst the President Randy personally is my favourite handheld currently it is rather expensive compared to the competition so I'm thinking the Jerry has been launched as a slim down cheaper version um, which is you know a good thing right so president uh, name all their radios after previous you know presidents of the USA now I'm thinking this is possibly named after Gerald R. F Ford who was the US president from 1974 to 77 whilst uh, Gerald or Jerry Ford was spelt with a, a G, this one's got a J, so that's a bit, uh, maybe got some lost in translation somewhere, but I've not, I can't see any further presidents named Jerry, but there again I can't see any named Randy neither, so I'm not too sure. But anyway, moving on to the radio, uh, you could hear it receiving some local stations, um, it was, uh, one's about 10 miles away and one was about 5 just on the small rubber duck. So looking on your left you've got the President Randy 3 which uh, has the larger tactical antenna which is an option so please ignore that. Both radios come with the same small rubber duck out antenna. So uh, stated specifications of the Jerry. It's a 40 channel AM FM multi-standard CB radio which includes UK FM as that's set on currently listening channel 19 um, it's got up and down channel selector it's got manual squelch and automatic squelch control which was originally patented by President Electronics it's got a multi-function LCD display S meter built in ANL noise blanker and a high cut filter a noise gate now I'm I do know that the President Randy 3 has this also, so this could possibly be some form of a noise reduction circuit. I need to look into that a little more. So it states it's got a noise gate on it. Uh, scan facility, which works really well and it's quite quick. It's got the F function key as all President transceivers have to get into various menus etc. Um, it's got a beep, Roger beep function. 
the horrible uh, key beeps as the, all these radios have. First thing I did obviously turn that one off. Um, mode switch for AM, FM and once it's on the UK FM you can uh, scroll between both the UK FM and the SEPT mid-band frequencies. It's got dual watch, tone control, a key lock so if you don't want it moving the channel or anyone fiddling with it. Preset channels, emergency 1 and 2 so you can set your favourite channels be it channel 9 or 19 or you know local net channel. It's got echo mode not that I would ever use that one. External microphone plug, so again with the uh, optional microphone to your left, you could use that in there. Uh, extension, extension loudspeaker jack. It's got a built in flashlight on the top. The battery used is exactly the same as the President Randy 3, it is a 7.4 volt 1800 milliamp hour lithium ion battery um, the spec is states it on the battery it says a, a ACMR 402 2040 so it's exactly the same battery so you're not getting a, a cheaper smaller battery for instance like your electric cars um, it's got Vox built in Vox control and the stated output power is 4 watts AM and 4 watts FM so, what are the differences between this and the Randy 3? Well, the only things I can see are as follows. It only has one colour on the display, which is turned off currently for battery saving. And that is uh, amber, orange. So it's only one single colour where the Randy 3 has multiple colours, in fact seven. So uh, if you like changing colours, this one only has orange, which don't bother me at all. So it, one one big feature that the President have been pushing recently, and other manufacturers for that matter, is the uh, CTCSS and DCS codes. So this means basically it's a tone squelch type system. So you, if two people have the same radio, you can put in codes so uh, you can speak to people and they you know you can't hear them they can still hear you the one on your right the jerry doesn't have this feature so that's one of the cost 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 cutting features i guess on the new jerry but uh, if you do need that feature you need two radios with that so not everyone has two identical radios the same goes for Another function which is on the Randy 3 but not on the Jerry is the uh, Compander function. Now the Compander function, my guessing it means a compressor and expander. Well the Compander function is used on various radios and again you need two radios that one will, the one transmitting but you need one that receives it as well. That cleans up your audio. That's Again that's if you're receiving say using the Randy 3 for instance and you're listening on the Jerry unless you've got the compander function on your receiving radio it's not don't work right and it can sound wrong so again you need two transceivers with these two functions so the differences are it has one colour it also doesn't have CT CSS and DCS codes it uh, doesn't have the compander function and one other key feature I found if you look to your left of your picture with the Randy 3 it comes with a, a charger not not the standing charger that is an option which I got but um, the Randy 3 in England comes with a charger but sadly it doesn't have the three pin socket on it so you have to have an adapter to charge it so the jerry doesn't come with a, a charge you have to charge it through the uh, car kit one good point with it on your right it does come with the, the the car kit so you basically screw that unit onto the bottom of the handheld um, 
unscrew your rubber duck antenna and you can plug it into an external antenna and your cigarette lighter and you charge it that that way so there's you know I, I see there's four, four features well three features missing and a charger so it doesn't come with a charger at all in the box so that's your differences so for that the radio on your left the Randy 3 costs just over 200 UK pounds I've got no cost for this yet but my guessing is it'll be between 100 and 140 50 pounds it's going to be I would think at least 50 pounds cheaper than the other one uh, which is a good thing now before people I guess say well you can get a you can buy a you know a, a Thunder Pole TX actually I've gone up the more than hundred pounds now um, yeah you can get one and a brilliant radio but if you want the additional kit to use your Thunder Pole mobile that's more money you have to you know pay probably another 15 20 pounds for that where this comes with that so I think once you've added the price of the unit to use it mobile onto the TX I think these could be pretty level pegging on cost but I'm not sure I don't know so it's just me you know my thoughts and opinions so yeah it's got the dead the same battery exactly the spec state it's the same size exactly the same size um, the same weight so you know it's just a, a you know a lower spec version of the same radio in my opinion so yeah the stated size for both transceivers is 152 millimeters high by 66.5 millimeters long by 37 millimeters they're, they're exactly the same chassis the casing the only differences I can see looking at them is obviously the name on the front and the um, Randy has a green green seal this can be seen let me turn it can you see that there's a green water seal these radios are waterproof that one's got an orange so if you quickly if you're lucky enough to own two you know you can see if unless uh, you have issues with colors the jerry has an orange seal around it and the uh, other one you know the randy three has a green seal now the sealing system um i did do some notes so i'll just have to exit out right here yeah so the the president randy and but both the randy and the jerry are water resistant you know they're not, they're not fully you know up to ipx7 rating as some you know devices and phones are what you can submerge in a meter of water forever and a day they're not that the the they're waterproof but you know they're not um, waterproof where you have to be chucking it in a bucket of water but again I can't see anyone really wanting to uh, soak soak a radio on purpose so that's a, a few of the specs so we'll have a, a look around it now uh, what's still here with uh, yeah so on uh, yeah on your left that's what comes with the uh, you know the uh, other transceiver you do have a charger I, I can't understand why We haven't got a U. I don't know if you can see it. A UK plug on that. Ah, it's easy enough. These, you know, the adapters are cheap enough, and that's what I use when I charge it. But again, the Jerry doesn't come with that unit. So, you know, just make sure you realise you've got to charge it in a, another method. So we'll have a look around it now. I will put my, the Randy well out the way turn him off yeah that's got the big tactical antenna on it works far far better than the, the standard rubber duck it's just a bit uh, unedden with it stood about 
No, I'll put him out of the way anyway. I wonder if they're still on. We're good on side bumps. Let's go. Let's go, GD. That's a local station, Richard. Everyone knows Richard <laughs> around here. Worldwide they know him. Big signal. Anyway, so yeah, that's looking round it. So let's see if we can. Uh, so. There you go. Yeah, there's your orange display. You've uh, got up and down channel keys there. Set on the UK frequencies. Scan facility. You need uh, your squelch turned up, obviously, for that one to work. Emergency, so it's, it comes preset to channel 9 and 19, which I was monitoring on there. So that's uh, them buttons. So you've got a moving across. You've got your mode button, which um, now it's on UK FM, goes AM, FM on mid band, and UK FM. Up and down channel keys, there's your flashlight. That also acts, gets into your menus. There you go, first thing recommended, turn that key beep off, which I've already done, as you can see. So you've got um, an echo mode, Not that I'll ever use that one. The tones, emergency set, what else we've got, vox set, so you can, you know, it's got vox control. Rounds free operation, dual watch set, scan skip, uh, reset all, so that's uh, to reset the radio, roger beeps, key beeps, so that's uh, to get into that you just press that and then if you press it, well, that's, to, that's to alter it you see, if you press it again and then you will go up and down. I will show you have anyway another feature if you press that that turns your flashlight on which I've already had on it's a bit like it's all right on the night it'll be all right on the night it never things work when you do them. so yeah that's to get in you've got your F key at the bottom monitor key there's your A and L noise blank all your noise blanking for features there so it's pretty straightforward your microphone is where my thumb is little microphone speaker well made you've got a, a rubber sheath there on on this side and um, that's for your headphone socket at the bottom and your external microphone in there we'll show that later on hanger bracket on the back that's your cover you just unscrew that and your uh, lithium ion batteries under there on that side there's for you, that's for your squelch set up and down at the bottom dead easy high and low and your PTT looking at the top volume on off volume on off and there is a green light receiving that's your flashlight at the top it's very bright as well and that's the antenna that comes with it just a small rubber duck antenna one thing you can use is again the optional tactical antenna I'd certainly recommend that and get an adapter if you want you know you've got you've got the adapter for the base so if you want to go mobile or use it in your house which comes with a unit which is a bonus really and looking at the bottom there are your sockets when you put the uh, base unit on so if you go mobile and uh, based on what I'm thinking, it says, we ought to turn it off, didn't I? Yeah, so it will, it will stand in the uh, base charger unit. So them um, pieces on the bottom. You know, we uh, charge the unit as well, so it can be used with the uh, you know additional charger which you need to purchase separately. Exactly the same unit as the Randy Three. 
So I'll be back in a moment. So what else comes in the box? Well you've got the box there, you've got the car charging unit, uh, a multi-language handbook and the general president sticker. So that's a, a brief look at the new President Jerry handheld transceiver. It's going to be, in my opinion, between possibly £100 and £150 when it becomes available in the next few weeks. I will be doing a few more tests on air. It has actually received a few stations, which is always a bonus. And uh, hope you look forward to the future videos. And please feel free to say, subscribe to the channel and place any comments below. Thanks for watching. Best 73s from Dave M0 OGY26 Alpha Tango 025. Catch you on the next one. Bye bye.